Hello, I'm Ellen Arby Smith, author of Memoirs of a Suburban Troublemaker. These are five ways to succeed in writing a captivating book by doing things a little bit differently. Number one, own your dark days. My advice is to discuss all the hard and uncomfortable topics. Avoiding life's challenges doesn't help anyone. Since reading The Handmaid's Tale at age 12, I've advocated for women's rights, fearing the impact of extremist control. I believe men and women should openly discuss abortion, infertility, postpartum depression, sexual assault, and women's health to prevent a bleak future. If you feel ashamed about something, you're probably not alone, and sharing can empower both you and others. I found that speaking out helps reclaim your power. Number two, make every word count. I wrote and revised daily for nearly two years, initially producing a 175,000 word journal about everything that had ever happened to me in my entire life before streamlining it with the help of my editor, Malka Wick Ramalataki. Thank goodness for you, Malka. It helped to approach the assignment as if I were crafting a personal time capsule filled with art, literature, music, and the imperfect narrative of my life. I hope my great-great-great-grandchildren will hear my voice through time, connecting them to their roots and heritage. It took hundreds of revisions to clarify my message and truly express what I wanted to convey. If you keep a word count in the back of your mind, make sure to keep your messaging concise and entertaining. You will successfully accomplish this technique. Number three. Kill all the darlings. No matter how much you love a turn of phrase or an ancillary character, stick to your outline. Figure out what you're trying to say early. Also, write an outline before writing your book. I made this grave mistake and suffered dearly because of it. But once I established an overarching theme, initially troublemaking as a form of resistance, evolving into troublemaking for others, I was able to weave in layers upon layers of relatable connections and references. Number four, do your research. I interviewed over 50 people before writing my memoir. I reached out to immediate family at least a dozen times a week to ask about specific dates, their perception of events, their feelings about them, and more. I was aiming for a broader perspective rather than my own. The process was both cathartic and therapeutic. Although I am still a work in progress, I now have a better understanding of what truly happened and I believe this has allowed me to write a more relatable and improved book. Also, reconnecting with old friends has been my absolute favorite part of this process. Number five, keep the laundry in the basket. Some stories are better left untold. Be provocative and incorporate details that engage all five senses, but avoid dragging your family members through the mud for the sake of entertainment. Specifically, ensure that you're not sharing the worst moments of those you care about. No one wants their most challenging times laid bare. Instead, see creative ways to address the core of the conflict and resolution without casting anyone as a villain. Number six.